back up real quick and we're gonna jump on to the cube legacy cube Ten tickets, please. All right. I got draft masters behind me, so draft masters. I don't know what's in this cube. You know what I do in every cube that I don't know? Mono red. Just straight mono red. It's mono red burn, kill them all. Mono red burn, because they always put in two like way aggro slanted cards, and you don't ever I mean. I don't know if they're sulfuric in this. They don't ever mean to, right? They're like, this is well balanced with good red removal, and then what they don't realize is red removal means that you can just like get in there with two ones. That value. Is this a Zergo? We played. Um, we we drafted a five color pile. Yeah, because Maurice was here, right? No, no. Runaway Steamkin. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, what do we have here? Do they have the Devoted Druid combo in there here? And that's why I have it's no in there. Idea. Oh, okay. I mean, Devoted Druid's just a good ramp card in general. Like it, it ramps you into five with one card. Mm -hmm. What's the best card in this pack? That's always my first question. Uh, obviously, Start of Extinction. Read the text on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my. Oh, yeah. Like I do like Devoted Druid just for the ramp deck. Um, seems pretty solid. You know, you know my strat. I'm <laughs> the memekin. I'm always on runaway memekin. But want to build a memekin deck? No, because you only get one. Yeah, you can't They're really good. Build a... I mean, like I... he's just like a two mana four, guy that four. grows. Into Freebooter's a, four, four. a good card. Vraska uh, is good too. It's the six drop one that's crazy strong. This, right? The six drop is real crazy. But this I, one's still good. That one's still good. But then you're like locked into two colors, maybe. Yeah, that's the I problem. just go devoted druid personally. Devoted? Sure. The combo's in here. I mean, it's in There's always a thing of like picking fetch lands too, right? But yeah. Like Liliana the Veil is super strong. We just pick up that Elvish Mystic. I think we just grab the Elvish Mystic or the Green Sun. Are, are, is that the direction Ooh, we're yeah, going? Green Sun's also. Good. No. I really like Green Sun. It's gonna be able to get us the Gramp spells and find us our payoffs. Yeah, but uh, that Elvish Mystic's never coming back, and then you're passing that as a third pick to the left. Like Green Sun might not wheel either. You're gonna see what? How many cards are this pack? Four. Yeah, I, I don't think we, like, the green sun to me seems like the card to go here. Yeah, sure. There's plenty of other Elvish Mystics. Okay. So now we're uh, kind of like... Corsair, Avenger, Gilded Lotus. Mm -hmm. um, See, now we know George is driving the draft because we're so out in bottom green. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good strategy. Um, uh, that, those, are, those are the three cards. That that Trostani, is that the one that uh, makes dudes? Gives you two one ones that are two twos. And like, the, the, what the, I do is the, I heal. Regain control is actually relevant because um, there's like control magic and other stuff in the cube. Yeah. So. I mean, you could grab that. The Avenger is going to go to the guy who picked the Elvish Mystic. I like Tristana here. It's a decent payoff. And right? powers up our dorks. Right. And if Avenger, for some god awful reason, wheels those two cards together, is a yeah. little. It's a good time. We, like, in Corsair and Gilded Lotus can possibly come back from that pack, so. B Queen. Ooh, the Immortal Sun. Nobody's going anywhere. You're all stuck in paradise. Yeah, it's slightly taking, uh, cutting off the. Um, I'm good with Immortal Sun, honestly, right? Yeah, I love that card. I think that card's yeah, sweet. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We, we can go, like, Token Strat yeah. while they were leaning here. Yeah, just dudes. Just mana dorks. Mandadorks into the Immortal Sun. That's how you get them. Oh man, we need that Bee Queen to come back. Alright. Well, George, <laughs> shut up. George, <laughs> shut your mouth. Uh, I moved uh, the chat down, so it should help. Uh, what are we taking here? George wants Plow Wonder. Yeah, well, you know. Plowunder. I think Plowunder is the reasonable card here. Plowunder is the only like, card people yeah, are picking like, green. Well, unless we want to like move into. Well, we are in white. We're in white. With Tristani. So Face Fetters is a relevant card. Like that's uh, actually a par very powerful card. Yeah. And Iona is also what three O rings. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Dan? I love Plowunder though. Well, that, Plowunder will come back. That'll come back. Okay, then let's that, like, look at this pack. We got, like, Vindicate. We have Heroes. There's so Apple, many strong Jace. cards yeah. here. We're going to take Faith's Fetters. Yeah, like, 
Karn um, is super strong. Avacyn's well, Pilgrim's... Well, Avacyn's on color dork. Yeah, that's actually really good yeah. for us. Kevin for the White. Warren Power Stone would also be good, but... Karn is so goddamn strong, though. He is a... He, is a, he was arguably the strongest card in that pack. Eh. Well, no, that's like the... That was the four mana card. Spectral Procession. You know, a four mana card is super strong. Do we take ooze for cyborg plans? For the graveyard fine in the main deck, too. Yeah, with Spectral yeah. Procession on our tokens plan. <laughs> and so, I like ooze more than Spectral. Uh, like, know. so, the, the Immortal Sun's, like, plus one, plus one to all creatures is kind of, like, the nice benefit. The other, the thing you really like is, like, Planeswalkers don't do anything. And I get to draw cards. Yeah. So. And your stuff costs one less. So I think ooze is the best card here. I yeah, like Ooze. That's like a good he's, card. He's a, he's a man. Um, wow, Brooch of the Second Son. That's how we win! <laughs> um, God, Doom Whisperer is a strong card. And no, there's only one guy in black. It's got to be. Uh, so Crucible Worlds, sometimes they're just like, yeah, let's put some, some land dumps. I mean, dumps. there's like... Or we can cast the Brooch of the Second Son. <laughs> we could do that. Shuffles in seventh from the top, so it'd be we draw it in four turns with the sun in play. Exactly. We could have the sun's tribal deck. Exactly. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm on board for sun's <laughs> tribal. Are you two seconds, pick a card. I already reserved it. It's fine. Beautiful. Um, Run up. up is interesting. Armageddon in our mana dork deck is also a thing. Yeah. I mean, I wish we would have grabbed Crucible. Don't be unreasonable. Yeah. Because the, the guy who just grabbed Crucible, this pack. Can we is, just take Armageddon so no one else has it? Well, well just this, matter, yeah, we're we get, getting paired against random people. We get paired, oh, okay. nah, yeah, if we were so at the kitchen at table. Um, Ranger of Eos is also strong. Oh, that actually is fair. Ranger will, like, we are going to pick up more one drops, so, like, Ranger is fine. Right. Uh, Wall is a game trip, yeah. Gilded? Sure. Mm hmm. Yeah, ramp strand. Forsake the worldly. That's fine. Six sideboard card. Get him. Yeah. Take no. That was the pack that kind of wheeled the uh, the other the thing. Plow under. Yeah. Throw, put take faith. There's some monster in plow under land. A goblin guy just to make someone else's draft worse. Yeah. Wreck the red red guy. Screw him. Yeah. There you go. He's like all these cards are wheel. What? They didn't wheel. They used to be good at this game. Elspeth, Knight of Autumn, Whisperwood so, and Elemental, Caryatid. Knight of Autumn's like a value mid range. Jit is a very strong card Jit. in our creature deck. It is fair, it's another way to use creatures. I do like Jit here. We don't want planeswalkers in our sun's right. tribal. I like I like Jit here just because it's gonna give us the reach and it's such a versatile card. It's our plane software. Thalia is also in our wheelhouse just because we're like trying to F shit up, but there's stuff up. But, uh. <laughs> Listen, I can't not swear, all right? No! I'm, it was just hilarious. I you work in like, a prison. I'm gonna F this. So like, you like partially censored yourself until you realize you did it. You can say shit in a PV or PG 13 movie, though, right? That's fair. Okay. Yeah, all right, Jet. We're taking Jet. Yeah. Sure. And hope that Thalia wheels out of the pack. That sublime archangel deranged. is a dumpster. Yeah, but deranged hermit's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, deranged hermit is really Lo good. Yeah, I like okay. deranged and hermit. And our token stack. Yeah, I like deranged hermit a lot. With yeah, the yeah, 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 all right, all right. You, you sold me. Uh, there's harmonize, rattle claw mystic, a verdant catacombs. If we find a green white duel. Mm-hmm. Thraben Inspector. <laughs> nah, I'm not not on Thraben. I'm, I'm between the Rattleclaw and the Verdant. Carries a jit? Draws a card? I'm between the two. Rattleclaw and Verdant. Oh, I'm on Verdant. Verdant? Sure. Yeah. Because if we can get a green-white land, like uh -huh. Savannah that's in this pack. Banish? Oh, yeah, Savannah. Yeah, there we go. Screw all those cards we could play there in green and white. We don't need them. They'll come back. It's fine. Dude, Sweetie Pooh was on gutter bones and we goofed. <sighs> That's a that's a Vivian Reed. That's a strong card that we can't that we have the little Nambo. Oh yeah, we're not building another deck that doesn't work. Ooh, create oozes. There is a mana type, you know. It's just a... <laughs> I like Sovereign. No, the, it's a boat. It yeah, does, it's great. It does, turns our mana dorks into like a six five, and it gets to shoot things. You're like pow pow pow. I'm on ooze. Like just because so... we're gonna have man up the wazoo. Okay, like that's really reasonable. Yeah, he's like a really good mana sink. Okay. 
I'm just saying. He's like Centaur Glade, only a dude, so worse. Horizon Canopy is great. Terrastan is great. Nykthos is awesome. Council's Judgment's also really strong yeah, for our Council's removal judgment. here. There's Ballista, too. Oh, gosh, yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is a pack full of stuff. Yeah, um, we, we can take half this pack and be happy with this draft. Uh, I'm on Canopy or Council's Judgment. I'm on Canopy or Ballista. How many... Well, yeah, if we're, if we're not really mana ramp, right... Well, well, we, but like we, we could fetch a we could fetch a ballista with ranger though. Oh yeah, I like that. That's cute. One or less. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, like I, I really right. like it because yep. of that. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, we can court of calling for it. There's wow. honor of the pure. It's also pimp daddy. We can get pimp daddy. Look at him. Yeah, pimp, right. Pimp, pimp. Had the pimp hand out. Pimp, pimp, pimp. Kill rune was a oh man. Court is a real card though. Court is really good. I just don't think we're like. Are we a great court deck? No, because we don't have any tap end. We don't have anything. What are we courting for? We're courting for like a deranged hermit. Yeah, let's just let's just. I got a my elder. Yeah, I have a green sun already. So. Oh, that's Kyoru. Containment priest probably or spear. Spear Healy, I keep pumping our team. Our token, our token plan. Yeah, keep keep grabbing. Yeah, keep on this token plan, right? Does it make whisper Jeez, wood? All that stuff. Yeah, you know, whisper wood is good. We have a bunch of fives right now, though. Night of like, have So we have deranged hermit Tristani and ooze. I so really like, like Knight Orthalia here. As yeah, a like this is super versatile. Yes, I like Knight because it's very versatile, and we can get it off the right. sun. Bodie McBoatface. Sublime came back. That's that's a strong card because sometimes you it's just... like really weird with us pumping a bunch of small guys mm -hmm. because it's uh, more... Condemn is also a real card. It is. Like they try to dumpster you with a. I like the Condemn a little bit more. Yeah, I'm alright with Condemn. Design. Condemn. Your Mystic came we back. We got a Thraven Inspector. Look. More guys Would you rather Ranger want the Rattle Claw? Okay. Oh. No, that's actually really relevant. Being able to fetch it up and draw a card seems sweet. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of like green white value now. Uh, so Wicker Bow or Green Warden? Both. What's, what's Wicker Bow do? Destroys enchantments or artifacts and becomes a 4 4 as a result. Or we can return stuff and then return stuff big again. Big Daddy E Whip. Yeah, Big Daddy E Whip. I like Big Daddy E Whip. Big Whip. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Can I just take this one? No, you take the Dread me. Return so it's not in someone else's deck somewhere else. Mm. Oh, we could discard it and then sacrifice three guys to reanimate something big. Yeah, alright. Reanimate a Ballista on zero! Nyctos? Sure. Yeah. Court! It came back! <laughs> it's too easy. The cat came back. Very nice. Dude, you can cord for a Green Warden to pick up cord. I mean, we're just not picking anything that Sweetie Pooh wants. I'm sorry, Sweetie Pooh. Sweetie Pooh. Nah, no, girl. To be fair, Sweetie sends me entire decks and I just play it. I don't care. I'm not gonna, <laughs> That's we're fair. We're ponzing every time. I gotta re actually replay the... Oh, uh, I actually meant to like ask you to borrow some cards. I was talking with Jay about the Repudiate Replicate and how it's so good in mono green. By the way, that's a Rafelos. That is a Rafelos. Yeah, we did it. Rafelos um, is like just the best here, but there's also Kozilek. That actually, this is, but we like don't have that strong of ramp, so I feel like Rafaelis is just better because like this is going to be yeah. relevant no matter what. Yeah, but rampaging, mm -hmm. uh, fair or whatever it is, got banned in standard. It's so good. <laughs> Hopefully, we're just trying. I to just want to point out that we're passing up my favorite card. Oh yeah, like, I mean you're the, like yeah, like but it's, it's in the same three, pack though. as Kozilek, so that person's going to be tilted. That's fine. We we'll take Rafaelis. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. Rafaelis is the best card in that pack for you. <gasps> I don't. Hmm. <laughs> that doesn't work, but there's a monastery. Do we have... We actually have triggers? a chain. We can go one, two, three, four, five, oh six. God. We have a chain! We can chain! Do we is it better than the Oracle of Moldiah? We can chain! Do we do it? <laughs> do, do we chain. Right, this is your stream. This <laughs> do we this do is it? our favorite card. Oh, that okay. is fair. <laughs> Taking I'm it. passing my favorite card, but I'm gonna cry when Birthing Pod comes through. Birthing Pod is my favorite modern card. Right. Sneak Attack is my favorite cube card. What's your favorite card, Jay? Okay. My favorite card in modern? No, the that we passed. Oh, I, I didn't. Well, like, he, was, he was talking about me passing on oh. Sneak Attack. Uh, Overgrown, Den Protector, Sun Titan. Sun like, Titan. Sun Titan seems sweet to pot into. Yeah, Sun Titan. Sure. No, we have this. I wouldn't mind us getting a couple more four drops here. Yeah. 
It's gonna come back. That's fine. Or more three. Card is not coming back. Because we're going. We I don't think you understand how many bad cubers there are. Uh, us. Step one. <laughs> Boom. I just really want to get like a Marari's wig. Ooh, that's a cradle. No, oh, my goodness, that's a cradle. Well, that's a cradle. Cradles of the grave. Blah, blah, blah. Man, that bullet is gonna be thick. Too bad we can't, you know, pot into bullets. I'm glad oh, it dies. Well, we can, and then we cast uh, Green Warden of Morasso, returning the bullet to our hand. Uh, Holy jeez, Steel Hellkite is your six drop. Or a Stirring Wildwood. Or a Self and Spirit. Stir Wildwood seems really solid. Yeah, but we have the land that gives us things for forests, so at this point, like, anything... Well, like, but we still need to fix our mana. Like, the Rafaels being, like, not... Can I point out how good. incredibly strong Steel Hellkite is? Look, look read the, the last part of Steel Hellkite. I mean, yes. I know what Steel Hellkite does. Steel Hellkite seems solid. I just like having our mana fixed. I do, too. Yeah, all right, pick it. It's also a main lane that gets pumped up. That's a rampaging Bayloth. And ooh, bam, 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 bam. Brimaz, though. I do like Druid's also there. Um, and cast out. This seems like a great way to Yeah, can you go but then if you're like Brimaz can just win games, put a jit on a Brimaz, then you're just like meh, 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 meh. That's <laughs> that's, that's the noise you make. Okay. Just wanna point out that This seems like great because they like ramps you. Um and then it also becomes a threat. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like I like this a lot, don't we? Sure. I mean, I'm on Rampaging Bail. Well, Brimis. it's only because we already have two six drops. Right, right. So, uh, Brim is because we... How many mana ramp guys do we have? Just one? Two? Yeah, we only have a couple. Like being yeah, able to I think we need the, the Incubation Druid here to ramp with. Right. We have ramp and growth, me. Oh, we can Terminus. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we can't, we can't splash for the Eldrick. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. Not that reasonably. Terminus. We could duplicate. Duplicate or, does seem good because we have pod. Because you can, can pod, pod into, into it. the duplicate. Yeah. This pack's blank. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty bad for us. Uh, what are, what's the most impactful card for us to take from uh, someone else? Uh. Mm. Dragon Lord of Tarka. Sure. <gasps> There's a Kozilek. And sneak attack. Came back. Plus, I don't like is a strong card. So, Kozlak's not like unreasonable for us to cast. No, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Only 10. Oh, yeah. Monastery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mentor, right? Yeah. Yeah, but like, we're, we never ca we're not casting non creature yeah. spells. Oh. But, but it's like, what else are we picking? Yeah. Like, the double blue Sphinx is red. Battle mat. Sure. We're going to have to cut a lot of cards. That's my hanger bag. I didn't even realize it was in that pack before. <laughs> I think it was in the pack that had the um, something else where you're like, oh, we take that. Was it the Savannah that we snap picked? I don't remember. It was a Ravages of War. Sure. Yeah, I get that <laughs> out of us. Ravages of their wars. Get the fight with fire out of here. That's it, huh? There's a lot of commons and uncommons from recent sets in here. Got 32 cards, so we got yeah, right, so that's first card to get cut. Suns. Yeah, we're not sun dry anymore. We're not sun dry anymore. Um, how good is this green sun now? We still got we're hitting a lot of relevant ramp spells, which seems really good to me. Uh, we have Elder, and then we still got some payoffs. Hermit, so. Tristani, Ooze, and then Green Warden. Yeah, so it seems fine, right? What doesn't it hit? Doesn't hit Sun Titan? Doesn't hit Ranger? Do we need the Spear of Heliod? We have the two other the secondary text for uh, Spear is super strong. Yeah, it, but like, are we, are they really attacking us, and we're not blocking? Yeah, we do have two walls. Sure. Let's, All right. Let's, let's ship that. Oh, we have Wall of Women's with. Overgrown Battlement. Oh, the combos. Can we um, take Ravages of War out, or are we going to keep that? I think we cut it. Sure. I don't, like, I don't know. Like, I guess if we can find room for it, but I feel like we're we want to just cut Condemn. Yeah, we're not on that plan. We're just trying to kill, do cool stuff. Boom, man. 13 lands. Good to go. Um, is Hangerback <laughs> better than the side and just bring it in if we need to clog up the board? Uh, I mean, if we were on Hangerback, I would, that's the only time I'd be on, like, the Spear it plan. It is, like, really cute with, with Trostani. the two, like, Anthem effects. Okay. But... Honestly, I'd take... 
Kozilek. Yeah, Kozilek, I feel, is probably the card that... Do you guys think we can't really cast that? We can still take, cast Take that card we, uh, Well, we do have Gaia's Cradle. Like, we have Gaia's Cradle and Rafelos. And a Gilded Lotus plus... Overgrown Battle that can tap for two on occasion. Incubation Druid taps for three once you... Have yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah we can I, actually cast all right, it. All right, all right. Um, duplicate is medium minus. That exiles a dude, though, right? That's, it does. That's but we, we can bring it in if we need it. Right. Um, Do we just get a real, like? I want to keep the wall because it's a cantrip and it powers up. Yeah. What about like a garbage search effects? I'm just I'm looking at this birthing pod and I mm. I'm like this is probably the card that gets cut. <sighs> Listen, we'll bring it in. If yeah, we, don't lie to me. Okay. We'll bring it in. Do not patronize me. That we're gonna well, bring it back in. We'll no, bring it back. I in. mean, like I'm not proud. I'm. It's never coming in. Like if it's not in the main deck, it's just nowhere. Yeah. Um, like, I know it's sad, but, like, although, do we, like, this range reveal looks so real awkward. Well, no, no, that's right, because, it, so, no, it Ballista, up so the two. walker is also, yeah, but if we okay, got those. so we have the four targets for the ranger, all right, that, yeah. okay, yeah, it is. It's Pimp good. Daddy's probably the, the weakest ramp spell. Yeah, but you, if, if you've it's got. It's not a ramp spell, it's a card advantage yeah. spell. Yeah, I actually still like him in there, to be honest with you. Do you? Yeah. Well, no, because we have so many, much ramp at two, so likely we're going to go, instead of going from right. one to three, we're going to go from two to four, so I'm good to cut him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then add 16 lands, and that's going to be way more than enough. Yeah. I think so. Oh, yeah. Are all those lands, those are all going. Yeah, it's Gaia, Nectos, Savannah, Sterling, and Do we play the Nectos? Do we play the Nectos? I don't Nectos. Like Nectos in no, this deck. No, Nectos is not those. We were like mono green, maybe. Did they say four white sources? Yeah, it's that fine. Yeah, because we're going to need double white for Sun Titan. Yep. Now, because we're not just potting into it. Well, okay. we do have the Gilded Lotus. We do have Incubation Druid. Uh, we have Absence Pilgrim that gives us white. So maybe we cut one? No, no, no. I'm just no, saying he, the, the, four number, is the numbers are oh, good. Okay. Yeah. And let's run it. Well, you know, let's change it if we think it's like. Medium lines. <laughs> what a unique pile of cards. You, you're not wrong, Kane Day. I am still talking about my resentment that we kept on. I was willing to murder our entire pile of cards to make that work. I know, I know. <laughs> but we only have one three now. Yeah, but we could have played the other three. Dude, this hand is... Uh... It's like a turn two pilgrim. No, it's well, fine. turn two pilgrim inspector. Uh, no, yeah. That's fine. Are we on the play or the draw? We're on the play. Oh, that's yeah. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. Because like then you'll be able to on... you'll be able to equip a jet and then beats right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <sighs> they're gonna be like a dirty do nothing. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, sweetie poo. Game day should definitely check out uh, Unstable Voodoo's YouTube here because there's a uh, we've got the best piles, spicy pile that we've, was played. We've got the best this. piles. Look at him. He's like, oh, man, I, I'm i trying to do something cool here, and you're just, like, playing dirtily dupes. My phone's almost dead. I can't keep looking at chat anymore. It's the worst. Oh, what charger do you have? Uh, the good kind. <laughs> it's an Android charger. I have a... There's plenty of chargers around here. It's one of these things? Okay, so they killed our pilgrim with fire. What? That's rude. Um, I mean, we still just... Run out jet and pass, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we smack him for one, two, but... Yeah, yeah. We needed that mana. To the, um... To the right of J, there's my backpack. Inside my backpack, there's a battery pack you can just grab. I don't think... Is, I don't think those are all just regular US, USBs. Right? Those are its Cs. Obviously, you plug it into his PlayStation right now. That's fine. It'll charge it. I mean, we can have a dead phone. The Immortal Sun, how can we lose? Uh, when he kills By those. not drawing lands. No, burns, but... No! Well, we get the counters on the jet still, so... Sure. He trades his guy for a wolf. That's weird. That was a weird play by the opponent. 
Uh, yeah, but I mean... Maybe it's because they realize that af if they didn't do it right then... I guess they're just trying to keep our guys off the board, mm -hmm. that's fair. Oh no, a Baral. We're gonna get stormed! Uh, that's a dead Jace. Just kill it right now, right? Yeah, <laughs> kill that thing dead. Unfortunately, we've drawn our one drop so this green sun can't hit anything. No! Clue, save us! Oh, we're so good. Now we're gonna get counterspelled out of the game. We're gonna have to, like, green sun for a mana rock, mana dork. No, 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 we got knight. Knight does things. Yeah, I feel like we run the knight into whatever counterspell they okay. have. Because mm -hmm. they Please. definitely have a counterspell, yeah. Sure, okay. you can click us. I don't care. He's gonna look at our hand and be like, "Oh no, what a pile!" <laughs> Is this you, Kane Day? <laughs> <laughs> Is your name Jorgelion, or is it, or is that Jorge Leon? Like he's some very suave, sophisticated Spanish fellow. Whatever you think about, man. It's your world. Like, Jorge Leon sounds like the kind of name that would have a handlebar mustache that, like, twirls. Aw, they sent away our knight. Yeah, but we get to ooze. We get to ask him, ooze your daddy. Nice. Then you get to... Eat that, Jace. Get him out of here. Right, now you can block his dude and kill his dude, so that saves you some damage. Well, this is gonna be dumb. Uh-oh. <sighs> Okay. Well, we get to do beat downs with the jet. Yeah, so like we're swinging with ooze. And, right, and there's uh, dudes in the yard. There's a bunch of dudes in the yard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what you're saying that is that there's dudes in the yard? <laughs> yeah, it's dudes in the yard. Okay. So we're going to get some jet counters. So no matter what, we can get rid of Siege Game, which would be block, sweet. Block, 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 block. Block with block. the improper amount upon it. Block with the improper amount. Well, now we know what's dead. Yes. Yes. Sure. To kill a goblin token and this. Oh, are we just leaving the Baral there? I mean, wait, you, wait, wait, would wait, you wait. rather kill the Baral or the tokens? Well, a Baral and a token. And then um, we can kill the Siege King off, and so he just has two 1-1s. One okay, yeah. Well, a V click. Because, like, what, why not kill the V click? The V click represents more damage, right? Oh, I guess that's fair. So we, like, like, we, we trade with three goblin tokens, uh -huh. and then um, yeah, and then we can kill the V click, mm -hmm. and then leaves them just a two, two, and a one, three. Yeah, yeah, and then all we have to do is play like anything. <laughs> all right, sure. Well, well the siege game can shoot something, but I don't. Can think we gain? Oh, We're gonna yeah, gain a life, like... right? Yeah, I think we actually have to I kill the Siege King because he can throw himself. I still rather something. kill the Siege King, but I'm thinking we want to kill the goblins too. Right, but we gonna we're gonna use like green mana to gain a life, right? Yes, we will. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. Just kill off all the goblins. It takes more power off the board. Only suave people play Storm. You're not wrong. That's very true. It's very true. Suave people are definitely Storm players. Okay, so I still cl kill the V click. Cause still cl kill the V click. I just don't like him having a shock on the battlefield when he only has one card in hand. Like we need to be able to get back into the game at some point. But V click does represent, represent more, damage, more damage. But we're at seventeen. So what you just want to like our battlement's not getting shot down by the siege game, right? Fortunately, but he can fly over, right? That's why I'm thinking maybe can... just yeah. But our ranger of Eos does get shot down. That's fine. That's we're gonna fine. get two cards. We're gonna go get ballista. I just want my guys to stay on the field so we can equip it with a jet. That's fair. Because like if we get to yeah, but our jet's can... gonna have one counter on it, so when he goes to shoot it down. I guess he does it in response to the equip. But yeah. Then he's got to leave up mana for it. I don't know. Let's go. Let's... There's one line that preserves our life total, and there's one line kill... that allows us to get creatures on the board more easily. So, whichever one you think is more relevant here. I'm killing the siege game. You lost to quite the storm player on Monday. Who's sweetie poo? Was it you? <laughs> Might have been. I don't know. I was playing Storm on Monday at Galactic. I don't know who Sweetie Pooh is, but... 
Oh, I know who Sweetie Pooh is. Okay. <laughs> Let's figure it out. Yeah, we we put the last name and the username together, and they're like, aha. Oh, no. Oh, uh, they're going to tap down our lamb. A draw card. This seems bad for rude. us. Because uh, we don't really... It's uh, at 5-6. Maybe we should have preserved our life total. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. They're going to tap down a permanent. Um... And we we'll kind of mana we'll, screw. We'll still be able to run out our battlement. And then block down the 1 3, take 6. Jeez, and, that was a really good draw for them. And then we can still try to take over the game from there, right? Yeah. Because yeah. we can keep chumping this all day. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, like, if you draw another land, then Deranged Hermit, like, puts you back in a spot where you're only taking three a turn. No, I mean, we can just cast it next turn. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, we're taking eight here and going to five. Watch them bolt us. Good cry. Got three cards in hand, that guy. We, uh, um, Torrential Gearhog. All right, so Deranged Hermit. And then that way we can eat the Baral and chump the uh, the Ooze. I mean the Gearhawk. Mm -hmm. Go to two. Against the Ooh. red player, what can happen? Yeah, he's fine. He's playing red just for Siege Gang. All right, so we draw land, then we play the Immortal Sun. <laughs> yeah, he saw the line. He did that very quickly. No, don't, 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 don't. Oh, okay, no. You earned that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Okay, are we bringing in anything? Um. Yeah, one damage for the V-click. <laughs> yeah, we could have shot the V-click and held up a one to gain life or something. I don't know. Uh, that's right. fine. That's my fine. line was bad. My line was bad against the Torrential Gear Hulk tempoing us and putting <laughs> another 5 damage and drawing them another card. Yes, got him. <sighs> this is not good. This See, hand's so close, but... We had one more land. That's yeah. the second time that's happened. All right, ship it back. That's great. Uh, yeah, and you just put a land away. Probably the tap land, right? We just ship the planes. The planes. Yeah. Then we can get to go stirring into Devoted, into Cradle. Pow, pow, pow. And hopefully draw something aside from the Green Warden to cast. Like Otherwise, a, we're just paying like a bunch a of mana for a 5 4. Sun will be great. Immortal Sun. <laughs> sun Tribal. Oh no. No, Danny, not the PETA. Our opponent's playing, like, real magic cards. We're just trying to ram. That is not a real magic card. That's definitely a real magic Dude, card. that card is... Oh, my wow. God. Wow. You don't even get to kill our card opponent. We're killing our card. Yeah, rude. Give us priority, man. Yeah, take that. Taste it. Get countered. Well, this cradle is really awesome. All right, we did it. Thraben Inspector, and we get to crack the clue. I thought for like F half a second. I'm like, is there any point of holding? I can just have sex. Okay, that's, that's that'll do it. <laughs> well, next turn you get to swing with a three floor or a three four. Mm. No, we hold it up to block. Yeah, because it has reach. Wood is quite wild. We can Tristani next turn. And then our Gaia's Cradle rips us even more. God. Draw Ballista. Yes! Game will be over. He's baiting this. Watch him have like some sort of four damage spell. I don't care. Most of them are like... He already used Flame Slash. No, he's reading it right now, realizing it has reach. <laughs> he's reading it right now, realizing it has reach. Everyone's like, Stern, well, what's a bad card? This card's awful. And you know how many times that land has ambushed a flyer? Just reached up from the crowd and just <sighs> pulled him into his branchy embrace. And if he bolts it, that's also fine. We'll, I'll take a two for one. Easy two for one. 
Just, yes. just straight up got to <laughs> eat his creature. Nice paramander. Oh my gosh. Okay, you just run off the Tristani here. Yep. Get this Tristani countered so next so time we slam pick Green Warden and pick it up. Show us the money, opponent. I mean, Tristani has what toughness? Uh, it's a 1-4 and it makes... And he'll be able to eventually rebuy it with... Uh, oh, and we can swing with our 2-3 now. This is so great. It's all coming together, folks. It's all coming together. I want him to not read the uh, text that gives stuff back. And he, like, mind, mind controls, controls the Tristani. Yeah. Uh, I definitely... If he uh, mind controls the Tristani, doesn't he just get to keep it? No. no it gives it back it to... Says, a, yeah. all play, each player gain controls all creatures know. they own. They made sure of that text. Yeah. Tristani doesn't doesn't deal with any two cantrips. Flip Jace, Flame Slash, Tristani. Sure. Then we, we pick it up with the Green Warden. We get to Cradle. We got three men off the Cradle. Good. The Jace also dies too. It's Are they making their own Tristani? Wow. wow. Sure. And that stops our beat down. Yeah. Yeah, we have to br find something to... Well, I guess our Wildwood is a 4-5 on attacks. We so. might just be swinging with that, yeah. With the wildest wood known to man. Yep. We play Cradle this turn, right? Yep. And we... Tap it for the infinite. No, no, no. We, we uh, animate the Wildwood and swing with just that. And if he does something to it, we can... Um, one, two, three, four... We can what? Five. Oh, we can't Green Warden after, can we? No, we can. Because uh, Stern Wildwood's a creature now. Well, I'm saying if he trades with it in combat, if he, like, blocks all three on the Wildwood. Oh, it's fine. If he wants to trade all three, we'll, we'll figure things out. But I think we hold on to the Green Warden here, right? If we, if he doesn't mm -hmm. do anything. If it kills our Tristani, then we buy it back. Get more yeah, this, there's no reason to run it out. We're swinging with 4-5 Wildwoods. Uh, although it is a 6-5 with Tristani in the field. We'll bring it back a 1-3. No, nah, because I want to have at least two things. One thing to pick up when it goes in, and one thing to... I mean, you'd be... That's fair. Like, their deck is a blue deck with a Jace on the field. Like, we're going to be struggling for card advantage, and we didn't come out the gates. Well, I don't think our deck comes out the gates. No, man, we gotta come out the gates. Now, what would be. Woo! He's... No, they're gonna block with Jason and flip it. Okay. Man, we need this Immortal Sun. Immortal Sun would be sweet. Laugh at his Jason, like, ha, ha, ha. Alright, just passing. Let's see what they got. We just need to target that Tristani some way to kill it. Do we have a way to target it? Ballista. Yeah, sure would be good. We're getting our Tristani flame slashed here, though. We but... sure are. Right. I wish we would dr stop drawing lands. That would be nice. I'm a Tron player. All I do is draw lands, so this is what happens when you stream with me. You should definitely play lands in Legacy. <laughs> I would. Actually, I really would play that deck if... You know, there wasn't that The tabernacle of Pendulum Veil wasn't like two grand. Mm -hmm. We're just taking this four. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're two twos. Yes. Show me the money. Instant or sorcery to Relis. That card's pretty cool. Oh, hmm. When they grab Miskelk. Well, that's a deranged hermit. They don't have blue right now, and I feel like yeah. that's the best reason to. So we can like deranged. Can you do both with deranged yeah, hermit? Yeah, we can. We can deranged hermit into. Um, oh, we... yeah, sure. It doesn't matter. What? Oh, I was just saying we don't tap the wildwood, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, because oh, cause we, yeah, but we have to like we want mana to activate it, right? Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> We're not activating it this turn, so. And then we can cradle and play this Green Warden. Actually, maybe we're close to just casting both of them, Jesus. <laughs> Do we? I think we pay for the, the Devoted Druid. 
I think so. Ah, too. I can see it. it was too much value. Too much too value. Much value. They're like, yeah, next turn, those are three threes. It's an all star in your driver. Like, yeah, it seems like it's a really good card. Like, I honestly like Yabamai yeah, Elder in this deck, but. Because we just like card advantages. So what do you want to cut? Oh, it's too late. Oh, it's too late, but. Uh, so this is a just a land pile. It's, the me. sand is so bad. Yeah, we mulled. This doesn't go anywhere. <sighs> Oof. Well, we have the pilgrim. Yeah. So let's and, keep it. Yeah, we'll keep and, it, and then, and then we ship like... Walker because we can get it with Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. Seems solid. Lamp. Oh, Lamp if we drew all of our stuff that Ranger draws before we can cast it. Don't say that evil. <laughs> don't put what? that evil on you. Why, why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? Don't do not do it, opponent. Don't do it. Stop looking at that. Is it charm in your hand? Just pass the turn. Oh, <sighs> my God. We have a play. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Put a 1-2 on the battle. Do we need to put a 17th land in this deck? Because I feel like this is every single game. Well, to be fair... This to is be like... fair, we flooded out like crazy yeah. last game. Like The deck's just figuring itself out right now, okay? They're ramping quite well, though. This is called Variance, and it happens a lot in this game called Magic. We uh, play just... Incubation Druid. And beats for one. We get to slam a ranger of Eos next turn. If we draw, we draw land. When we draw land. If not, we've got the knight, and the, doesn't the knight destroy artifacts or something? Yeah, but that's indestructible. Right? No. Oh, I'm thinking of the other one. Yeah. 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 We're good. We're going to blow that up. Uh oh. Don't do it. Opponent. What are you going to find? Is it charm? Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. What don't, don't you want? Angle. Flame slash. No! Oh. <laughs> no! Draw a land. Yes! So Punish place. him. Show him who the real master is. I'm gonna destroy our land. Well, there goes yours, dingus. No, that's a 2-2, two -two, isn't it? It's a 1-1. One -one. Oh, it's a 1-1? One -one? I yeah, thought it's a 2-2 two -two no, when it's I saw a one -one. it one -one. I was just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Do You're a <laughs> madman! It's fine. It's a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. That stops our entire assault. The mighty powers of the 1 3. <sighs> and I just play this ooze. And just start eating dudes. Fortunately, yeah. Ooh, should we have just eaten a guy immediately there in case he has a, a charm? Relevant. Do we just not eat? If we're going to play around it. What, wait, what about is the charm are we playing around? They could just shoot the ooze. Yeah, yeah. They can I think, I think we just wait. I think we yeah. just pass. We're not, we're not doing anything anyway. Um, we just, just swing with the ooze now. See what they do. Hmm. I think I just feel like just taking let him let him take yeah. just hit him for two and then we can play ranger and get the uh walking. Nope. No, no Lissel's ready in our hand. No, the well the hanger back walker, yeah. but I almost feel like I'd rather just make them take the one and then just eat and then draw and then um crack a clue here. Yeah, I would rather just eat stuff. Right? Yeah. Sure. See if they respond to it, then go they have to play if yeah. And that's fine. I think we just pass here, hold up, and we can like, eat more things and mm -hmm. also uh, crack a clue. Ha! Your game plan of keeping us off mana has failed, opponent. Because we like to flood. Oh, I did have the other charm. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Good call. <laughs> Good call. Me and as a charm, we go way back. I love that card. 
That is like my favorite one of to put into blue red decks. <gasps> They're also on the approach plan. They just discarded it though. What uh, in the world? What a savage. They needed lands. Probably, yeah. Well, they discarded a land with the, the thing, anyways. They discarded it because we have ooze, right? So, like, when it goes to resolve. <gasps> they're gonna click us. Sure. Goodbye, Ballista. I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, we get to Ranger then and draw both of our yeah. things. <laughs> Send the Ballista away, please. Do it. Do it. Because, I mean, like, if they don't send it, we get to just cast it for two and kill her. We actually deal the damage to the... Oh, this the is too thing. good! The hand is like the stands too much. I'm out of here. <laughs> I've had that happen in Modern so many times where an opponent, like, clicks me and I'm playing, like, some green deck and I just reveal a pile of monstrously powerful cards and they're like, yeah, screw this game. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> nice blue cards, opponent. You're over there probably saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, blue's the best color. You always draft blue. Your deck's way better than everyone else. I hate blue so much. You get marginal advantages. Slowly over time. Tempo. <laughs> I forget. spells. Like, Blake's, like, the quintessential blue player in our group, right? And, uh, for, like, on Team Switch. And, uh... When he played Marty Pyromancer, he's like, this is great. I'm just drawing so many cards, got all these options. I'm like, you're not really. Like, you're drawing a bunch of cards, but you're just, like, shipping them, too. Like, mm -hmm. he goes, no, it's great. I get all these great decisions. I'm like, you're not really making decisions. Your decisions are made for you. This card's useless. Go on. <laughs> this card's not useless. Keep it. <sighs> so awkward. These four planes keep giving it to us. Sure. Sun Titan. Sun Titan, yeah. yeah. Sun Titan. We're gonna play. Oh, this frickin okay, they're green, so that their chances of murdering our pilgrim are very low. They're so gonna just drop a red source. Just beasting us. Pow! At least we get to go incubation druid next turn. No, oh, no. <laughs> Why did you say they drop a red source? Okay, oh, okay, so okay all right. It's fine. They're ramping too. Quit opening your mouth like that, Dewey. You're on the song. You're doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> they won't trade, right? One way do to we find care out. If they do. No. I think it's better for us. <laughs> To buy a scoop to a hand of BBE, two titans, a couple... Yeah, who wouldn't scoop to that? I was like, oh, I'm trying to do this value deck. Oh. Duplicate. Cards that just beat me. Okay, yeah, let's... Yeah, uh, that's really bad with the duplicate. Should we have like, been, Well, I guess you keep them both. Should we have just been, like, upgrading hanger back walker instead of that druid? I don't think so. I think I don't I, know what they're doing. So, like, next turn we get to just do uh, hanger back for two. Yeah. So. Or... We evolved the druid. Adaptive, excuse me. Doesn't that cost five? Yeah, it does. And yeah, we high five next turn. All right, we'll have five. And um, then the next turn, a big boy. Goodbye. No! The opponent heard me. Definitely did. They're shooting us or we're discarding? We're uh, they're, they're, uh, making us discard. Oh, uh, what are we discarding? Planes. Then we play ooze. If we keep the planes, we get to go... Um, Hanger back for two. Oh, well. But then again, hanger back was the other card I was thinking about pitching. All right. I think Ooze is going to win us. Win yeah, us. I think. So maybe Knight here? Hold the planes. No, like, no, no, no. And, the, and these colored, like, you, I okay. hate being mised by random fucking, or random artifacts. Okay, I'm fine with pitching and the planes. These, sure. There'll be more lands, do we? If you say so. Why don't we play this ooze and... You play the ooze. Now ooze is a 3-3. Three, three. That's an awful nice guild of builders. Don't worry about it. kind of wish I had all that value he's getting off of that pent daddy. <laughs> I hate getting mushed by random artifacts. You know what? 
Should have killed the Vendillion click. All right. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man, he's going to sack the Pimp Daddy, though, and then we're going to eat it. They get value, we get value. It's great. I'm going to play something big. Stop it up. Oh, oh no. I always get mized by random artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, the planes? What was the planes going to do? Have another land? Well, allow us to like cast the Gilded Lotus eventually. Like we'd only, We would now be casting the Gilded Lotus, which would get us even closer to Kozilek. I mean, like, we just the night just to gain life here. Can it, this is an attack. Wait, next does turn? the yeah, it's yeah. The, it's does the knight put one one counters on anything? No, no, no just, just itself. itself. Which means that it's so a four disgusting. three and it'll die. So that's why I'm thinking just gaining the life. Yeah, gaining four life probably seems okay. And then you'll be able to pump your walker. Mm -hmm. Yep. Could have cast a guild of lotus this turn. Oh wow. Okay, so How much mana does Kozlek cost? Ten. I uh, could have uh, been just two mana away from Two it. mana away. Don't worry, we'll still get there. That would have been one. The guy has cradle away. Hmm. How great would that have been? That'd be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we draw guys' cradle. If we just draw guys' cradle, it's not going to be that great. I mean, well, no, it'd be freaking awesome. <laughs> Is that? Yeah, it allows us to cast Guild of Lotus and then the next turn of Kozlek. Do I just jump the knight here? No. I just take the two. Right? No, don't you just block with hanger back and then... Create a bunch of 1-1s? One no, nah, well, you're we right. We create two 1-1s, one so yeah. I feel like well, you we can get more 1-1s one one. out of it. Yeah. I think we just take the two. Yeah, we're at 21. Take two. Make him pay mana to get his thing. He's like, I've got way better cards in my hand here. Let me just throw this away. There they are. That's that Chandra that shoots, right? Uh, no, no, it makes three ones that are hasters. Uh oh. And then it gets to shoot things. Uh oh. Oh, they're just gonna wipe the board. Uh oh. Well, we get two one ones, so he has to do it for. Oh, he'll. Well, he just does it for one. No, Not he two. did it for two. So yeah, we get to grow that. We get two one ones, and then we kill his Chandra. All right, so that's still really shitty for us. <laughs> All right, we top that cradle and get to slam this lotus now, though. Damn it. All, All right, right well. kill Chandra. Yeah. Maybe Just sure it would be nice to have this gilded lotus in play. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically you, sweetie. Oof. Oof. Green Sun Rafalos? It's gonna get shot. Alright, so we can Green Sun and most for three here. Um Oh wow, everything. So this doesn't seem great. Wait, do we have reclamation sage? Is this something we drafted? No. We have anything that destroys... Oh, man, that guy's in our graveyard. I was going to say, because you could kill Corsair. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd say save Green Sun for... Well... What in the world... Tristani, maybe, because then you could double block his flyer, but then he just... No, that costs so much mana. We only have uh, we only right. have Green Sun for three. I'm just trying to think long term. We can just wait a turn, I guess. Yeah, what do we... I don't want Green Sun. If we wait a turn and we hit the land, we get to Green Sun. No, even then, it's... Uh, well, I guess we would have to go Gilded Lotus and then into Green Sun. I think our best bet is just to get a mana dork and force him to shoot it. Right. It buys us time. How many cards do you have any in? Four? Yeah, they've got four cards in hand. Yeah, I think we just green sun for... His top card of his library is just mana ramp. Yeah, I know, but he's pressuring us quite a right. bit. So, like, if we do it this way, we can... I don't want to get the Rafalos, but I don't mind grabbing, like, the... Overgrown no Battlement. And then we can just pass. Hold up blockers. 
Because if we draw the other wall, it represents more mana. And if he shoots one down, that's fine, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is he using the ability to shoot down the wall? Yep. Yep, shoot down the wall. Alright, I think we're just going to jump here. Yeah. Is that the guy on cast that does some? What are you doing cast? Draw four cards? Draw four cards, and he's a 12-12. Yeah, so we're, what, five, eight, two mana away? We're two mana away, yeah. And he's not drawn live. I mean, he just drew a land, mm -hmm. and now he's got the tree speaker on the top. Mm -hmm. Granted, we're not killing him anytime soon. Nope. I don't like whatever's going on here. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> I see him. Uh, I think we want Yamavaya. Yeah. yeah. What are we cutting, though? Guild of Lotus that cuts a trap. Is it? No. No, it's not. Um, car, geez, old pizza. Wish, wish our deck would serve us more mana when we need it. I know. It's like in the opposite direction every time. Uh huh. Um, it's weird because we have sixteen lands, but one of them's a fetch, and we don't actually have that many mana dorks. So that's why I was wanting to play the, the elder to get more lands. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, but I would cut one of the search spells. Let's cut a cord, though. All right, I'm good with it. Did we win that game? Yeah. <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> they kept swinging at us. We missed the land, then we got the land. We got the Guild of Lotus, and they casted Ulamog, the Infinite Guy, and blew up our Guild of Lotus, and we died. Yeah. Wow, that's rude. And then our turn, we couldn't do anything, and then they swing at us, shoot our dude, makes us annihilate four, and then we would be left with nothing. Oh, okay. Flawless victory. Plus and, dying. And we had zero life. Exactly zero? Exactly zero. Woo. We let that happen, right? No. Uh, what? Hey, J. Bro, thanks for joining. Hey, Reese, thanks for joining. Um, <laughs> things are going well, I guess. <laughs> we played a really bad pile earlier. Oh, um, yeah. No, we played a really good pile. We earlier. played Breach earlier. It wasn't bad. We died to some stuff. Um, the Ravages of War is in the side. What, do you want to play it? But, Shoot, we've been having so many issues with drawing lands that. I put in the elder. You did? Yeah, cut the core, put in the elder. That's fair. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. He's beautiful. <laughs> Seriously, this. We just can't draw more than one land in open. Oh my gosh, keep it. Um, um, put back. The Faith Fighter? I put back. Uh, Ranger? No, Scavenging Ooze. I put back Scavenging Ooze. Because we, we, we haven't beat any of their creatures in combat yet. Sure. You know, even though we're the creature deck. We're getting Savannah here. Oh there he is, right on time. It's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're, like, ramping really well. Yeah, they picked ramp oh, cards. No, we did pick ramp cards. They just don't show up oh, ever. No, <laughs> it's fine. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit a land here, and then we're gonna ranger Eos and grab a mana dork and um, the draw spell. Three been inspect there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's God Reese. Oh my gosh, they're really good at ramping. This is disgusting. They made a good deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Put it on the wall. Oh no. I can't deal damage. <laughs> oh no. Well, we have a land. We can face better as the Garrick. <laughs> oh no. We're so dead. Oh, 
Why do we draw so poorly? I don't know. Look at they the look at the ramp. Turn. They're so good at ramping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they can freaking Ulamog us next turn. Good lord. Oh. And they just, just, just beating us up. Mm. Three bodies, half a draft brain. <laughs> Look, I have admitted numerous times I'm bad at drafting. I just draft cards I like. Oh, it came a... back! <laughs> if you love something, let it go. Oh, we can eat that guy. Yeah, eat him. Oh. Well, that's um, it's an unfortunate draw for us. Dude, this dude's like... Uh, Alright, all right, first couple spells, all ramp. After that, all gas. Is that what my deck's serving up? Looks like it. I don't think we're doing anything here. I think we just lose. Now we're gonna strap this jet up. We're gonna pop him in the head. Why didn't they uh, play the tracker first and get the draw? Because they're gonna cast an Ulamog. I'm just conceding to an Ulamog. We can play through it. <laughs> you left... <laughs> Let me have the flawless vision of doing no deck. I like how I called the Ulamog. Why would you do this? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Their green deck was better than our Much deck. better than us. They are so good at ramping and then getting payoffs. We're not. We get payoffs and ramp spells. We draw all of our payoffs, <laughs> then our lands, then our ramp spells. <gasps> we still can't get them. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna hang her back. Keep yeah, it, screw it, keep it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang her back and start ticking up on it. Oh, so I'm like really sad. We can't do. Uh... Oh yeah! Thanks for the subscription, Godries. Um, I can't go to Pittsburgh for the T Modern event. Why not? Because I'll be in uh, Denver for uh, the national conference for my company. So, like, I'm really happy I get to go to the national conference. I'm getting a big honor there and all this cool stuff. But, like, I also can't play Team Modern. <laughs> yeah, Team Unified. Or is it just, like... I don't think they've said. Mm -hmm. So, I don't I like know. those way better than the, like, the, the three different formats. Oh, I hate those right now. Just because, like, we have the hardest time finding another player. Well, finding a legacy player, let alone a deck. Yeah. Just play Oops All No one plays that dead format. Can't wait for them to cut legacy out of every tournament schedule on the SCG Open, like, fall like, next year. We just the need arena. the new format. Yeah, we'll get the arena non-rotating format, and that will be the new one, so it'll be, like, standard, that, and modern. It'll be so good. I definitely can't steal what Cutie Pie says. What's he saying? He says that I should be saying, Welcome to the Big Dick Club. Because that's what Cutie Pie says when people join his thing. And that's just not my thing. Holy yeah. jeez, this guy's doing it better than we are. Yeah, we're family friendly here, okay? No talking about wing longs. You're going to have to upgrade that hanger back. We will. Like block upgrade? Yep. Bl upgrade? Bl upgrade. The old block grade. The only problem. Oh, you can't block upgrade because if he plays a land, then he can just make his bros even more bro -y. Can I just say welcome to the big Quang Club? <laughs> Quang. Like, Quang Orang. No, bro, you gotta attack first. Welcome to the Quang Clan. The Quang Clan. The Quang Bang. Welcome to the Quang Bang. <laughs> the Quang Bang's actually pretty good. That sounds incredibly <laughs> dirty, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Alright, so that's a 2 2. Do you still block and trade? Oh, yeah. 100%. 100% though. Yeah, he's... Why is he blocking with his... Oh, no! It's going bigger! <laughs> That's a 2-2. Two -two. All right, Rafelos. No, Cradle. Land. land. Just or Cradle. Land. I just want to land. Land. This deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We've drawn all of our top in every single game. In like the worst order. Yes. <laughs> so bad. Oh, like, no. Okay, no PPs in your Christian stream, I promise. Okay. No wangs. Just quangs. <laughs> what did they just play? If he quangs. They just cycle. Quangs. They just cycle in their passing. Yeah. So this is pretty straight for us. Yeah. So we play Tristani. 
I was gonna play Immortal Sun. Yeah, that seems good. I like me some Immortal Suns. Make these two two thunders. Mm -hmm. Draw extra cards. Make all of our stuff cheaper. Mm -hmm. This seems sweet. The card reduces mana cost of your stuff by one generic. Jay, did you know that? I did not. I guess I've, so I've never so had good. the Immortal Sun in play before. Oh, I've played that card in Modern. I like that he now is just like, man, if I accidentally flipped this, this dude. This card also saw a ton of play in Standard, too, right? Not yet, but no. people are surmising that with 36 new Planeswalkers and the new War of the Spark NTG set, we're going to see a lot more of the Immortal Sun. <gasps> I can Sun Titan back my hanger back and it doesn't die. Woo! And then you can put 1-1 one -one counters on God bless the Immortal Sun. Nicol Bolas knew what was up all along. So... And we just slam the Sun Titan. Wait, can we Guild Ed Lotus? Can um, we just so we do Tristani and just get wide so and then just four. finish the yeah, game? Yeah, so we can Gilded Lotus and play Tristani this turn. Because Tristani costs... Oh, wait, Gilded Lotus only costs four. Yeah, we can definitely. We can yeah, play no, Sun we, Titan. Yeah, we're casting Sun Titan. Bah, 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 bah. Stop. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> the Immortal Sun. <laughs> <laughs> that pun's probably just like, what's that going to do? Oh, no, it's a 1-1. One, one. What the hell? <laughs> Are we going to attack some flyers? Uh, yeah, we gotta start killing them. Yeah, can we stop? We <laughs> promised no pee -pees, but it's a lot of masturbation going on right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. They're mono-white weenies, we're just like... No, they're not. They're red-white, and they're just screwed out of a color. No, they're probably mono-white. They're mono definitely mono-white. Mono-white monastery mentor. Halt seat... Ultra? We're gonna name White? All of his white guys are gonna be bigger? Mm, big white guys. Seems a bit nationalism. Oh. <laughs> <So strange. laughs> Just a real Trump rally going on over there. Excuse me, I shouldn't make political jokes in a Twitch stream. That was my bad. You're getting demonetized now. Oh man, we draw an additional card. To be fair, my opinions do not represent Can the we just. Are we doing that? What's that thing do? Draw us cards? Uh, yeah, that, that only costs nine to play, just so you know. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm bad at counting. Don't mind me. I will gladly draw four cards. Ooh. Oh, no. Did we play did land, we already? Play land already? Land yes. already? Dang it. We did. We messed up. Mistakes oh, well. were made. Okay. Uh, um, so I'm going to cast my Ballista for zero, and then I can bring it back. <laughs> no, it's going to be a one-one. It's going to be a one-one. Aw. Sad. I wanted to get, bring it back. Can we court for... No, we can't. Cause we don't yeah, we can't court. Can we we just... With no green. So I think we're just... Um, Gonna swinging, hit with some flyers. Swinging with the Titan and flyers. Yeah. yeah. Man, we can crack that fetch land first. Oh, yeah, so we bring oh, it back with the Titan. I already clicked past it. It's right there. Well, maybe wow. we trigger on the stack. Maybe that's how that works. It doesn't, but we'll see. <sighs> Pretty sure that's not how that works. Wow. Well, yes. This is how we lose the Pro Tour, boys. <laughs> but <laughs> if I ever got <laughs> on the Pro Tour. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go well, to Well, you're five. not getting that special invite now. I don't think You I'm... don't even want to go to the Pro Tour anymore. You want to qualify for the MTG I... Arena Mythic Championship because it's $250,000 more, and it's only 64 players instead of 500 plus something. I still want to go to the Pro Tour at least once, though. I mean, that is fair. That's like a goal for anyone who wants to be competitive in Magic. Right. Like, I want to be like, are you pro? Well, I did go to the Pro Tour. <laughs> it stands for promotional. You didn't actually make enough money to live on it. You can well they they have the um the Mythic Players Club now where they're they actually get uh paid mm. for being on it if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that though I'm not completely certain but that, I've never quoted you once. Well that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh you saw the Make blocks. blocks. <laughs> All right I guess we'll scoop. Do we bring in condemn? For what? To condemn them. <laughs> We just beat the tar out of us. Sure. I'm just saying. We have a jet in here. I don't think we lose. Like, we didn't even jet We can the definitely deck lose. Well. Have you seen our draws in this deck? Oh. We drew poorly that game and still won. Look at this. This jet. Turn I'm shipping two, jet, this. Turn I'm five. shipping. I'm shipping. What? Easy. Keep. <laughs> just so going to draw. All right. Keep. Keep. Uh, can we... I ship the cord? Yeah. I thought I took cord out. No. You oh, this is, a, this is against a different deck. 
Yeah, so we have to ship corn. I think we ship corn. Yeah, that seems fine. I don't know if the Immortal Sun's a good card or not. If we hit one more ramp spell, we're gonna be great. The Immortal yeah. Sun is, is immortal. a blessed card. It's immortal and it is immortal and <laughs> it's immortal. And. Uh, MPL members get paid fifty seventy five k a year. Holy smokes! Can you imagine? Can you imagine being like that, like good at magic and well liked that like Wizards just hands you seventy five grand a year? Yeah, but I'm so good at being a prison guard, they already do that. Yeah, but what would you rather do? Play play a children's card game or babysit people with knives? Uh, babysit people with knives. Children's card games are boring. I don't know, man. For seventy five grand a year, I, would, with... I think I'd be I'd be okay being bored. Murders with knives, way more entertaining. So, like, my problem with that is that I still would probably just want to work a stable job. Just yeah. because, like, at any given point... Oh, how rude, opponent. That is definitely rude. Like, at any given point, like, something could happen and you just, like, don't get to... Um, that That is fair, but I mean, like, there's, like, if you're in the MPL mm -hmm. and, like, you have extra free time, like, you probably could just become... Uh, Twitch personality very easily. That's like, fair. You, you could probably very easily get like as long as you're not super boring and dry, like you can very easily be a Twitch streamer. Because you could, you know. Wow. Wow. Hopefully we don't draw a non-basic. God bless. All right. Now you play the uh, O four. Yeah. Because yeah. that's a three-two first. That's strike. gonna come into play tap. That's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Meanwhile, me and Jay are on fire. So if we get another land, we get to go. Um, Dude, this guy's just Avengers. like, hey, remember yeah. a crappy standard deck that Steven Dykeman played for the last three years? Dude, that was a, he built that out of someone's binder. And he played that deck in Modern and won a PTQ with it. PPTQ. PPTQ, excuse me, PPTQ. Still, like, still fairly impressive. We just do this for two, right? Yeah, and then kill... What's-her-face? Um... I also... I just kind of want to kill that Kithian. Because it gets to flip next turn. We yeah, have a Mortal Sun in our hand. Yeah, we can't cast it yet. It's either that or we go Incubation and the Ooze. Oh, and I go Incub... Oh, to, so scavenging ooze incubation. Is there a chance? Yeah, chance the, the downside is that we're going to be taking a big hit. We're going to be taking five, six, seven. Going to four? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, no, that's probably not worth but it. But then after that, we're able to tap things down. Alternatively, we just go ballista for one and then shoot the Kaytheon and then block the three here and take two. That doesn't seem as worth it, but it preserves our life the most. Well, okay, so. Oh, I'm a big fan of Shoot Kithian. For sure. Shoot Kithian, play the mana ramp guy, take a hit for five, go to six. That seems fine, actually. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, it develops our board and messes with his. Thank God he didn't board us. Because it's three to activate the get the Kithian, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. What? Hmm? No, nothing. Just grumbling like an old man about our opponent. Mighty Leap! Plus two, plus two, and flying! Got him! What? There's, there's no pump spell, right? Mana Tithe. Oh, no. no. I'll dismember. Sure, I guess. Can't I mean, I guess, well, yeah, thank God he didn't do that on his turn, so his guy wasn't one bigger, and we were taking six instead. Ooh. It's kind of awkward that he killed our 0-4, but... I feel like the sequencing there was weird. Yeah, it was weird. <clears throat> Not that weird. Oh, no. All right, so we rip a land, we can still scavenge a goose. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> like we, we're dead no matter what happens here. Yeah, because our guy comes into play tapped. Mm -hmm. 
So we have that comes in play too. We have to s- trade with this. So we chump that, go to three, and then we can draw another land, and then we'd have to chump again. Yeah, there's no, no, because ooze comes in like that. We just die. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, you got us, guy. <sighs> we found out what the opponent's doing. Um, I feel like cutting Kozla. Oh, we want to cut that cord and put in um, Pimp Daddy. I also feel like bringing in Duplicate. Sure. Over what, though? Um, may we cut Green Warden? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this deck doesn't <laughs> want to give us a seven. <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, All right, keep. Did we just ship the um, green sun. That's what I ship. Did we ship the verdant? Um, no, because guy like so we we wouldn't have mana to cast our devoted druid. Cause okay, so we just ship the green sun then. Yeah, we ship the green sun. <sighs> have we even kept the seven? No, I don't think we have. This is ridiculous. That guy's head come down every game. I feel like just killing it on our turn. Yeah, but just ballista murder it. I mean, um, no, we should. We should not. We yeah, should we just, should definitely devoted druid. Yeah, it's like. just devoted druid, and then. Oh yeah, because because next turn we get to go cradle, play inspector, and then cradle inspector, Yavamaya elder. Yeah. elder yeah. Then the next turn that we can then we can super ballista him into the ground. There's a swamp on the other side of the battlefield. <laughs> what? They had another color. Dude, they didn't need it. It's been the color this whole time. This oh. is like this is like the last episode of the anime where like. Everything goes crazy. Okay, so we just got Thraven here. Mm -hmm. And then we go Gaia's Cradle, run out uh, the Elder. Yep. Yep. Then the Elder also, like, presents a trade. We can even crack that clue, too. Or crack the Elder. Like, we can... Actually, that's actually not bad. We can, like, block his... Mentor her, his prowess dude, and then like her bow. Well, depending what they do. Yeah. They cycled for sake the world do. Sure. They're gonna wish they hadn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, that seems really weird. No attacks. I guess we just crack Elder here, right? Right. Um, I don't know, I kind of, well... He yeah, represents well, one mana, but when he dies, well, he yeah, gets Well, yeah, actually, two. I like having him on the, the field here. Okay, like, so then let's crack the clue. Sure. Don't, don't click it twice. Well, it didn't untap it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I, just I don't think it registered. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's real mm-hmm. awkward if it was lagging, and then we just, uh... Yeah, that would have been awkward. <laughs> like, whoops, there goes our dude. Goodness. Okay, well, we're just going to Ballista for a ton. Yeah, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just 6. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, like, I was first I was just oh, counting our maps. Do it for 3. Yeah. You'll be able to kill Kithy and, like, we're in now. Pew. The next turn you'll be able to put two counters on it. Yeah, great. Hello, opponent. This is everything we've ever wanted. Well met. Oh no, he has support for our cradle. Yeah, but we can still just tap him out. What is this? Ravages. This Ravages. Cast, cast out. out. Um, What's cast out do? We won't know exile, what it's so... targeting, so we should just shoot the seeker. Yeah, I think we just kill the Seeker right now. Yeah, because we can rebuy the Walker, can't we? Or do we? We, we boarded the Green Warden now, but we can sun tie the back. Yeah, there you go. Hey, there it is. With Immortal Sun applied, then we can start adding counters. Boom. Or Tristani. I'm just. 
I mean, if I... <laughs> I can see button came awfully, awfully close to being... Who stays pimped Danny, right? I would think they would, but... You never know. Yeah. Nice. Do we have a way of blowing that up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have the knight. Mm-hmm. Time for the one two beat down. Good. Uh, oh, I was gonna say we hold on to it for ravages, but. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we don't really need the mana right now. We cut the cubs alike, and we already had one, yeah. two. I will three, not four, play five, any more six. lands. I will not play any more lands. Darn. It's ravages. That's all stuff. That's probably just as bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not good. I mean, I guess our 1-2 gets to swing into us still, but... Yeah, they just take one hit, and the next turn they create a 1-1, one, one, and then they're fine. Um, that was a very good draw. We have Tristani that we can go get. We have um, the Knight. Tristani seems like the best. Just to pump up our board. Mm -hmm. I'm missing something here. Mm -hmm. Deranged Hermit. Doesn't seem as worthwhile. Not as good yeah. as Tristani. And we took out the Green Warden. Uh, there's the Biogenic Ooze. Ooh, Biogenic Ooze? Because we have the... We do have a ton of mana. Yeah, we have a ton of mana and like... It yeah, let's do Biogenic mana. Ooze. Um, it costs five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... That's five right there. Mm-hmm. Although, could we have paid one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, kind of awkward. We could have made another ooze if we wouldn't have tapped Cradle. If we played land, tapped our druid, and then had Cradle up, we would have had four creatures, and then we could have tapped oh. for four to make a, another ooze. So we'd have three, three, threes. But you just told me not to play a lance. George, you're sending conflicting messages. Are right they? Now. Oh, at the end of every turn, they get plus one, plus one? Yeah, you put a plus one, plus one counter on them at the end of every turn. Then, like, green, 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 one, make a news. Card's, like, very powerful. Like, they're they're playing it in the um the Simic Nexus deck. Oh, it costs four to make a news, so you can make... How many news is next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two? Two. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're giving him the business. I mean, he has five cards in hand, so... They don't know that our two cards are lands. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, if he ravages here, like, we're still fine-ish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's kind of awkward, because now we can't swing into his Elspeth. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we just sit here making a gigantic board. No, we ripped Tristani. Sure. So we want to make the dudes now so they get pumped up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, It seems like you get really out of hand with this cradle. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. God bless Biogenic Ooze. I did not give this card very much credit. This card's really strong. Yeah, that card, like, they're the... But yeah, like, the Simic Nexus deck that's playing it, like, they had it in the board, but they just moved it to the main because it was that good. Because, like, on the end step, in response to the Ooze trigger, you can stack it so your Wilderness Reclamations mm -hmm. go off first, so you can produce a bunch of mana, make a bunch of Oozes, and then he pumps them. Yeah. It's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so we need the Immortal Sun now. We get to also continue using the line, Ooze Your Daddy. We do need to try to beat up that Elspeth, though. Yeah, we have to swing through this next uh, on our turn here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. We Because it ults at 8, right? Hanger Backwalk was yeah, gone. Yeah, Or Hanger Backwalk was still Why, do you want to wait another turn? And mass up the board even more? That yeah. way we have more 4-4s. Four because we can make, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can do, make three. We can do three of them. Oh, 
Oh, wait, that's right. We can actually make four here, can't we? Because, well, no, no, yeah, it's still only three. My bad. I was thinking we could make another one, but we cannot. Yeah, no. Because we only have... Yeah, if we play land into land, we can, but... I think it's fine to hold it at this point. Yeah. Do we still need just the four fours right now, though? Not the original biogen. No, no, these yeah. ones, though. Yeah, just the... Yeah, Yeah, make them throw a token away. Mm -hmm. I mean, next turn, after this upgrade, you might just be able to go for face. Right? It's fair. You have a bunch of three threes, a bunch of four fours, two five fives. Oh, well, that's the sort of body of mine. That's pretty good. You get one block with it at least, and then yeah, we can your block next the, turn. the three of them. Yeah, we have okay. Yeah, yeah, so we have some white stuff that can block it, but it's very good on defense here. Yeah. Putting it on Lethalia, kill anything? Oh, no. He can equip it onto a guy and then jump his guy with Elspeth. That's a problem. What does it do? Is it mill 10? Let's hope yeah, it mills 10. Like and gives him a 2-2 two -two wolf. They thought about it. Why'd you tell them? Um... Well, we might just do the thing that Jay was talking about, where we go go for the throw Face. now. Yeah. So they'll have one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five blockers. Goodness. Why do you keep giving me lands? And our condemn went away. And our faith sweaters. Okay, so I have five blockers. So one, two, three, four, five. So three, six. Um, How many cards are in our library? Fourteen. We can survive one more swing. Right. Perfect. So if we animate the stirring wildwood and swing at the else. Um, like, the problem with, um, range rating for hangar back is that we aren't going to be able to kill it, so then it won't be able to make any flyers. Well, I'm wondering if we, you, if we animate the wildwood this turn, and we, we leave the inspector back and swing everything at Elspeth, um, kill the Elspeth. He can't jump his guys anymore. That way we can chump with Inspector, and then we can also play the Ranger. And um... if he just chooses not to block, are we dead on the swing back? No, because we'll have we'll have some blockers. Oh, we have still. a bunch of oozes that come into play tapped. Oh, all of this stuff comes into play tapped. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Now you could take so that's three. I think we just four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we sent all of this out. There it goes. But it doesn't kill the Elspeth. What's the Elspeth alt at? Eight. But we we want to kill it so we can't jump. That's the thing. Because if we make any swings here, like we we actually one, can two, die on the crack back. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Or one short. Yeah. Like, we'd have to, like, that's what I was saying swing with this turn, Wildwood this turn. Like, mm -hmm. we're not making any oozes this turn. We're just, like, casting Ranger and all sorts of We can stuff. still make oozes. Not enough white mana. We can use white mana. Well, we can play a planes. Oh, okay. So we can use white mana here, activate the Wildwood, swing with all the oozes, right? Mm -hmm. All of these oozes plus the original. 
I'm gonna lose the original. And then that's the, fine because that the wild trade with a bunch. It of means stuff. Elspeth would be dead, and then um, after that we have the Thraven and the Devoted for block, and we'll play the uh, the Ranger here, and we'll make uh, two oozes. Do we play the Ranger pre combat so you can use the Cradle mana? Yes, I think so. Okay, so I think we animate. It sucks though. Yeah, because well, you... we don't have enough mana to animate. And you without using the cradle, like you, you can't animate ranger and not use the cradle. Well, I would use the cradle for the. So what if like I think we animate the firewood, cast ranger, make tokens, swing out. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah. Duplicate would be great. So would uh, Jit. Yeah. Everything else is kind of garbage. Do we uh, just pull that pilgrim out so we don't have it as a Yeah, I would grab both of them. Although, yeah. Yeah, it's... it's, it's we, we still can take a hit and... Yeah, well... No. I'd rather keep the pilgrim in the deck. Sure, that's fair. Do we cast this, though? Um. Nope. Yeah, I want to get the hanger back in play. How much do we have? That, that, that's okay. Sure. Kiss the hanger back. Use the ooze. So we if, activate the. Yeah. Go ahead and. Well, we we activate the wild wood here. Yeah. So I'm just thinking we lost. No, we have to do it this way. Yeah. So activate. How much money do we have left? Eight. Eight. So we hang her back for two and then make mm -hmm. one ooze. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. And then everything but the devoted druid in inspector at mm -hmm. Elspeth. Swing. We have to go Thraben here, devoted on whatever else would be the biggest. Thali or the Mentor? Mm hmm. Probably just on the Thalia because you'd have to cast two spells for Mentor to be bigger. Trying to see if they can keep it alive. They might be. Please miscalculate opponent. He's doing. Oh, I, I guess he just, gets to he eat that ooze for free. Yeah. yeah. Just eating one. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Nostalia has been messing us up this whole game. <laughs> yep. Right. Um. Oh no. That pushes them into lethal range. Uh, maybe. We'll block this. So they pick a color, right? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we live at one. We definitely want to block the Mentor here, though, because it's a four power just like Thalia. So block Mentor and Thalia? Mm. So no, we, we, we block, block the Mentor sword. and the Sword. Yeah. Thraben on the Sword. Four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. God damn it. Oh, we were so close. 
Are they Should we have just gone for a lethal last turn? No, we had he could block very easily. He's right, but 19, then like, but then we weren't on the No, he all he had to do was block one creature. Uh, yeah, he yeah, we didn't have enough damage. Him like he needed Maybe that. he won't see it. No, he saw it. So unfortunate. Wait, so if we don't block the sword guy? It, it, the sword is the same. It's four damage here oh, and four damage okay. here. So if it, if it was weaker, then yeah. I didn't oh see that that guy was Lord, a two. I feel like Hall of Triumph was like the only card in his deck that does it. Because it... Mm -hmm. Ugh, that's disgusting. First strike damage to give you hope. <laughs> that is disgusting. Tragic. We also drew a ton of lands there. We sure did. Right at the end, that's not bad. <laughs>